Hi guys, Irish Strikey back in Elite Dangerous. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this time we're doing a bit of a run through of the Federal Dropship. Um, just to give you a bit of background that you will find on the storefront, uh, the Federal Dropship, the Core Dynamics Federal Dropship, is the Federation Na Federation Navy's workhorse ship for tactical and special forces deployment. This is a well armoured and well armed ship capable of carrying large loads. Its versatile nature means that it's well suited for tackling even the most hostile environments. And I'd say it is. Um, so this is not the same lineage of the... Oh, I've rendered to kind of catch up there. Come on, machine. Um, this is of the same lineage of the Eagle, so you can kind of see some of the design traits. For a big ship, we are the only... Uh, coffee machine? Hello, hang on. I love this ship. I already love this ship. Coffee. Um... This is, uh, for a big ship, we're center seated, which is nice. Not sure why my cockpit hasn't uh, rendered up there. But um, everything else has. Very nice aesthetic in here. Kind of brushed steel, hexagonal floor pads. Good visibility. We have even visibility up there as well. Um, it looks like we have a seat over our shoulder here, actually. Maybe a co-pilot. Interesting. Um, some cargo strapped away, another coffee maker, just in case one breaks, you know, again this is a military looking ship, redundancy built in everywhere, is there a sheet over this side, I don't know, do not remove, do not remove, do not remove, basically do not touch the ceiling, whatever you do, this is nice, I like it, interesting kind of panels here, but yeah, let's have a look at the outside. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Dalton Gateway. I just want to get into outfitting, please. So, let's have a quick look see. Um, 16.8 megawatts out of the gate, pretty decent. Um, 7 light year jump range, mm, could be better. So, we have 4 utility mounts dotted around the belly of the beast. Uh, 2 medium, 4 medium, and one large, so she's going to be five weapon placements at the front. Doesn't look like there's anything on the top of the ship, so that might be a vulnerability for those attacking the ship. Interesting. Um, the internal layout, pretty standardized. We have 32 ton capacity cargo, 16, 8, with two empty slots. Yeah, could be good to go. You can see our little cockpit. There's actually a stairs up beside us here on the right over our shoulder if you look in the cockpit close enough there. And you can definitely see the seat over my shoulder as well. I don't like how I literally just got the ship and the paint is already like, do I buy these ships second hand? Come on, you're buying these new, they're millions of credits. Come on, please. Okay, um, let's see here. She's a nice looking ship. Definitely we have those kind of fins down there for atmospheric flight. It's not going to do anything in uh, in space. Um, I have the decals applied already. Not sure if I like them on the ship. Maybe with different paint schemes. You never know. But what do you think of the look of it? You know, it probably all depends on how she handles it. But let's take her for a spin. I'm undecided. I'm undecided. But her profile looks nice. She pretty much just kind of like three wings on each side. Pretty good atmospheric ship, I'd say. For her size, that is. What do we have there? An adder coming in. Come on, let's do it. Good visibility. How's my seat? Is it caught up? It is. Ship released. Engines oh, engaged. She's kind of sluggish Landing to get up. The busy station. What the hell is that outside? Looks like a Type 9 having an awful day of trying to get in there. What are you at, you numpty? Will we try and force them? Let's nudge them. Scan detected. Ah, I am actually inside this bloody ship. That was a bad idea. Come on. Fools. That 
was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so what's she cruising at here? A normal power distribution, 140. Let me just try that boost again. Better get up there. So she boosts to just over 300. And what does she cruise at when she comes down if we put power to engines? Interesting noise. Let's do a little flyby, see how maneuverable she is. So she's cruising, what? What would you say there? She's cruising at 250? No, she's still coming down. Was she cruising at 2? Hmm, still coming down. Let's see what she levels off at with full power at engines. So she cruises at 182. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Don't get too close. Do not want to crash. Probably not going to make that. <laughs> I was going to chance it, I was like, no. No way. When she's in the blue zone, I suppose you could throw her about a little. Let's see if we can get back in here. Come on. And that's how not to um, fly a ship around the station. Whew. Only 50% damage. That's going to cost on the resale. Yeah. I was able to throw the other ships around much easier than the Federal. Just, just FYI, guys. Didn't have that issue on the other ships. Let's uh, request docking. Docking request. Hmm. Actually, good though. We're right on the 50. Let's just see how much this is going to cost to repair. Come on. Come on, you sluggish beast. Like, can I have full power to engines there now? No, I don't think this is the ship for me. But, you know, I'm open to be. have my mind changed. Get out of my way, Viper. Where the hell is pad 15? Is pad 15 below me? No. Oh, there's pad 15. Come on. Damn, she's slow. She's slow. Come on. I know I have my landing gear up, but still. It's like she doesn't want to kind of play ball. Let me know in the comments below if you kind of want to see the ship in a kind of combat video. I'll see if I can make it happen. I'm not any promises. But you never know. How much is it going to cost to get this ship fixed? Half a mil. Right, not doing that in this video. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, leave your thoughts and opinions about the ship in the comments section below. I'd love to, I mean, just love to hear from you just to see what your thoughts are on this. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button not to miss out on any up and coming videos. But uh, again, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye.